So as we know, porpoising has been one of the big talking points of 2022. Some teams like Red Bull have been able to handle it quite well, but teams like Ferrari and Mercedes have had it much worse off. The bouncing has affected both the W13 and F175 in all three races we've had this season, yet Ferrari are topping the timesheets and currently have a comfortable lead in both the Drivers' and Constructors' Championships. Meanwhile, Mercedes are struggling with their car a lot more, and have been nowhere near their pace. In this video I'm going to be discussing why Mercedes is struggling with its car so much more when it comes to porpoising. So let's get into it. Now before we begin, if you enjoy the video make sure to leave a like and also subscribe for more Formula 1 content. But let's get into it and basically porpoising has been having an effect in the high speed corners. Now as I said earlier we have seen this season Mercedes and Ferrari bouncing quite a lot. But if we look at Ferrari, it's been quite clear that the team can control it in the high speed turns and can generate the downforce needed, which is allowing the drivers to go through them faster. Meanwhile, Mercedes are carrying the bouncing into the high speed corners and as a result are not generating the downforce needed from the ground effect aerodynamics and therefore lose time. Now one thing that is notable is that the porpoising is triggered at lower speeds on the Mercedes than it is the Ferrari. And according to Mark Hughes, who wrote a piece on the official F1 website, if the bouncing coincides with speeds at which any of the corners are taken, then the team will need to increase the ride height. He said, this will move the porpoising trigger point to a higher speed, allowing the corners to be bounce free. But in the process it reduces downforce. It imposes a natural limit on the amount of downforce the car can tolerate. So basically Mercedes are having to trade off downforce in order to stop the porpoising effect happening in the corners. And as a result, it's just losing them so much time. A good example to see where Mercedes are losing out would be from the most recent Grand Prix in Albert Park in Sector 3. This contained the high speed turn 9 and 10 chicane as well as the fast turn 12. Now Ferrari was suffering from the bouncing very badly in Melbourne on the run down to turns 9 and 10, arguably worse than Mercedes, yet they made it through the high speed section of corners no problem as well as turn 12 and as a result ended up being several tenths faster than Mercedes in the final sector. A Mercedes team boss Toto Wolff was quoted by GP fans as saying, Our bouncing is worse in the sense that we are carrying it into the high speed corners, so we can see where we lose performance. When we look at the overlays, Sector 1, we are very competitive, Sector 2, we are competitive, and Sector 3, through 9 and 10 and through 12, we are losing all of our margin. It is almost like a second through a couple of corners. So that's why Mercedes have been struggling so much more when it comes to porpoising. The team are facing a variety of issues such as drag and extra weight as well, but if the team could get on top of porpoising then that's a whole lot of time found through the high speed corners and this would help them close the gap to Ferrari and Red Bull. But when they get on top of it is another question as the team don't want to rush upgrades. George Russell said that there's nothing substantial in the pipeline anytime soon, with the team instead likely to do little things to the car at the moment. So it might be quite a few races before we see anything major on the W13 and the porpoising issue may hamper Mercedes for quite a bit of time. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today. Thank you ever so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, take care. Bye.